Okay, well, I wanted to do this video in the light, but as you can see, it is dark out. So, we'll see how well my headlamp does here. It's going to go over the power steering and maybe get into the electrical a little more. But, if you look, you got your factory power steering pump here. And you could definitely get a lot nicer um, reservoir, but this is just the one right off of the Volkswagen. And I believe, if I remember right, this is the same hose, the return hose, for the mm -hmm. um, off of the Volkswagen, and it... I just reattached it to the pump, I'm trying to get the light here, right back into the, the reservoir, and then this is the return line right off of the Jeep's power steering. It plugged right into the other side of it, really couldn't get any easier than that, and then I did some bending on the factory Jeep high pressure line just because I didn't want to have to have a custom made line go out somewhere not be able to not be able to replace it so you can see the factory line right here and I ended up getting it to sit right on the frame there it's kind of hard to see, but it it comes up and around, and I cut a little bit out of the the inner fender here, and then tweaked it a couple of times right here, and then I've got my upper radiator line coming right above it, actually tied to it, but it's screwed right into... The VW pump if you pull off that banjo fitting the Jeep's fitting at least on a 97 Jeep screws right into it no leaks no issues and that's what I'm running for that and somebody asked me about air conditioning obviously I don't have it I just have a pulley to take the place of the compressor but if I've got a, got another ALH right here and if you look down there at the compressor clear down at the bottom the one hose is coming up here and the other one goes straight across it's got a little bit of soft line and then it does a 90 into the into the Volkswagen's um, condenser, yeah, condenser there. And so, if you had those two lines coming up here, from what I've seen, the Jeep's AC would be back here. And you'd have to do some routing on that to get it up over the top. Maybe come up over here somewhere back and forth is where that would go and then i think those lines should be able to come up over the top of the engine i'm not really sure how how neat you could make that look but i think i think that's what you'd want to do and then just tie the jeeps the jeeps electrical into that into that compressor the volkswagen compressor and yeah, at least that's that's the best I could think of. And let's see what else. Um I mean, if you start to look in there, you can you can see most of that Jeep or the the VW wiring is just laying down in there. It goes back around. I didn't I didn't cut hardly anything off of it. And this is the the box right off the top of the 
the VW battery and that wiring just runs back in there and then I stuck it all right through this this grommet was already there it was just nothing going to it so I guess if you had a Jeep with more options there might be something there but either way that came through really conveniently and then if you go down under here I don't know you're not going to be able to see a whole lot but let's see what I can show you here VW pedal mounted right in there, complete with my glove plugging that hole. And yeah, I just used some bolts to space the pedal out to where it sat, kind of about the same as the brake pedal. I know you could do it a lot different, but anyways, if you look up in here. There's a whole mess of VW wires. And yeah, I pretty much just coiled most of the excess wiring that didn't need to be used up there. And the computer is also up right here underneath the steering wheel. And just tied that off so it wasn't bouncing around, but that's about all I did for that. And, yeah, I don't know. Um, I actually used the EVAP lines for the uh, for the return line on the fuel. It's a little small, but I figured I'd try it since it was already there. And so far, it has worked fine. No issues. So, factory fuel filter. Just made the mount sit over there. And yeah, I really just reused everything that was on the car. You can see how the... Oh, got my light in the way here. You can see how the oil filter and the oil cooler sit right there they're pretty close to the motor mount but the top side of the mount's not going to move so there's really no no worries there and there's the upper radiator hose coming around and yeah i guess that's about it for this video let me know if you want to see anything else in detail